Hey there, Chanel here from The Heart and Soul with your weekly channeled message for July 8th through the 14th, 2024. Um, lots going on. Check out the newsletter, um, past life regression, uh, group on Zoom, uh, oracle card and tarot card reading, uh, practice sessions on Zoom, um, Yoga Nidra in person or on Zoom, and of course, just lots of me on social media, sharing and all that good stuff too. A uh, little limited in the personal sessions this summer, so if you are looking for a one-on-one, -on -one, just know that there might not be as much availability as it is summertime, um, and I just don't have as much availability because I'm enjoying the summer and time with my kiddo. So, let's get into it. The energy continues to have this bobbing on the water feeling. We're in this rowboat or floating device, whatever you want, and we're not really going anywhere. The water is really still and we're just kind of like bobbing there. And it feels incredibly peaceful. There's no confusion. There's no like, where am I going? And it's such a beautiful space to be in. There is this peace right now of not needing to know the next steps, which I know so many of you that drives crazy, including me. I'm really, really trying to embrace this not knowing thing, not knowing the how I'm going to get there. But the more that I do this, the more the what shows up, the more the clarity of the direction shows up, not necessarily how I'm going to get to that end point, but being shown what's coming and knowing that I have to be patient to see the unraveling and the unfolding. There is a period right now that is about getting clear. We are clearing up some old things that we have been working really hard on. And again, this will feel like onion layers, things that we th feel like we've already done the work about and they're coming back to the surface again. We're accepting through the deliverance of these in really gentle ways, almost as if we have them come up in our mind and we can just go, oh, there's no time for you. You have no place. There's no space. I accept that you are here, but I'm not going to feed you. I'm not going to give you power. Instead, I'm taking my power. But the acceptance piece is important. These things that are coming up are habits and behaviors and patterns that are there that have kept you safe over the years. So thank you for keeping me safe. But I don't need this coping mechanism anymore to move forward into the next phase. This is this piece of like, I know you are here and I know why you were here. But I'm not taking this pattern, belief system, habit into this next phase of my life in the way that I did previously. And this is going to feel uncomfortable for many of us. It is going to be this like grating on our nerves of like, really, do I really have to have this come up again? And again, they're really subtle. Nobody's having to, for the most part, knock on wood, because there's some of you that will learn big lessons. But for the most part, they're going to be really simple. They're going to be really minor coming up, dealing with them and moving forward. This clearing period we have, this slowdown, this stillness, this being this inwardness is key to using the energy of the Lionsgate portal that is coming forward. They've shown me already that there is like an eight day lead up and an, an eight day reverse kind of thing. So there is going to be an acceleration of energy and a deceleration of energy, but the Lionsgate portal, the energy of this beginning of August, the first half of the month, is really palpable. And again, it's not necessarily an action energy, but it is a doing energy. It's about being and doing, as in being in the flow, paying attention to what the universe is giving you, instead of an action, this is what I must do, I have to have control over this, blah, 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 blah. This new era, this new frequency is not about 
forcing or control in any way, shape, or form. So just unbuckle that seatbelt. We're flowing, and there's nothing you can do to stop it. So over the course of this week, leading up, because we have another full moon coming soon, it is really about being present and getting clear. When we are getting clear, this doesn't have to be from a place of knowing the how to get there. But feelings work great. How do you want to feel? I want to feel free. I want to feel happy. I want to feel joyful. I want to feel loved. I want to feel seen. Whatever it is, think of the feelings. Think of where you want to go or what you want to create. Think about like a bigger picture. And again, it's not about how we get there. When we release the how and step into the place, into the goal, we release the impossibility. When we're focused on the how and we can't figure it out, then we go, oh, I can't do that thing instead of allowing the universe to show you how you can do that thing. And it feels a little contradictory because normally we, you know, make goals and then create an action plan on how to get there. But the universe is saying, like, we've got the action plan. You just have to, to, to stay with the flow and we'll show you what's going on. If you fight against this energy, it is going to feel chaotic. It is going to feel unsettling. It is going to feel daunting. And it's not meant to be. So please surrender. Please surrender this next week. Um, if you need a little help surrendering this week, uh, this Friday is Yoga Nidra. It is in person at Dundas Yoga and Fitness or on Zoom on Friday, July 12th at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Um, both of those are pay what you can or feel free to join the Yoga Nidra Club. This gives you the live on Zoom every month as well as a library of recorded Yoga Nidras that you can do anytime you want. Um, they are meditations that are just there to help you and guide you and give you peace. There's healing in every single one. Um, and there's probably like 25 plus in there right now. So um, that's just $10 a month Canadian. I love to have more of you join us there. Um, you know, it's that place where we take uh, sleep seriously, where we take rest seriously, take taking care of ourselves seriously. Um, later this month as well, there is um, group past life regression, as well as I am going to do um, an, a, a card reading practice session. If you're interested in that, it will be on Zoom. We'll do, I'll do a tiny bit of teaching and then there'll be a period where you'll get bumped out into uh, meeting rooms and you'll read for each other. So it's an opportunity to practice. So whether you read oracle cards or tarot cards, it does not matter, um, but it'll be an opportunity to practice that skill. So um, yeah, check that all out on my website. And remember, every Monday, a new podcast drops, uh, usually Monday evening. Uh, this week is an energy forecast. So we're going to be going a little bit deeper and a little farther into this, into the Lionsgate portal, kind of what's to be expected over the next little while to help you understand what's going on energetically, because I think it's really uncomfortable for a lot of people if Today's reading didn't help or it was just a touch of the tip of the iceberg. Definitely jump over and check out the podcast later tonight um, and go back through some of the old ones. There's some great episodes in there that might help you through the energies that you're experiencing right now. So from my heart and soul to yours, have an amazing rest of your week, everybody. Bye now.